What's up? In this video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my gym bag video. But before we get into that, happy new year and I hope you're crushing all your goals. I know many of us have health and fitness goals that we love to start off the year strong with. So what better way to do that than with a new gym bag setup. So I did film this video a few years ago and some things have changed and others have remained the same. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the bag itself. Uh, so this is the bag that I am using now. It is also from RSF. It is their RSF Go duffel bag. Uh, and it's a their Go line is focused on lighter, packable materials. So this is what that is. My previous gym bag was also an RSF duffel bag, but that was kind of in backpack form. Um, and now since I don't really go to the gym as much, when I do go to the gym, it's for volleyball tournaments or volleyball leagues. So I'm not really bringing around my bag as much and I pretty much just place it in one spot. So that's why I went with the duffel version. Um, so taking a look at the bag itself, there is one main opening here. This is not zippered, but there is a small organization in the front. The main compartment itself, which is just a big cavity. And that's it for the inside. So just one small little area for organization inside the bag. Uh, on either side, you have Velcro where this is perfect for like your water bottle, quick access here. Uh, and you also have it on the opposite side, so Velcro. Also, if you wanted to put, you know, your wallet, keys, phone, um, water bottle, they'll fit here. On the back, there is a luggage pass-through. So if you wanted to toss this and you're traveling with it, you could put this on your roller luggage. There's also a zipper compartment here uh, if you want things to be more secure. So, well, I have a GoPro battery in there. Uh, but yeah, you could put also phone, keys, wallet, uh, what, what have you. And in the front, on the other side, there is a magnetic clip here, not zippered, but also a quick access. So you have storage compartments on all sides, on the outside, the inside, just one big cavity with one small non-zippered or Velcroed area for organization. And then you have these two handles uh, to hold the bag. Typically, I have been holding it like this on one side not really long enough to do the whole, you know, over the shoulder thing, uh, but that's okay with me. Or of course you can just carry it like this. Uh, but usually for me, this is my go-to. So that is a little snippet of the bag. I really like RSF products, uh, my work bag, my travel bag, my sling, my gym bag, uh, my tech bag, my dot kit. Most of my bags are RSF and I'm going to keep it that way. They have very high quality, materials and I really like the way it looks very simple um, very minimal branding I think there's one you should have one RSF tag right here this is what their branding looks like so you can see air right there if it right here and that's pretty much it for the whole bag so this is my new gym bag and I will preface with um, like I said I'm not really bringing this bag around the gym or you know the court too much so this is a pretty heavy bag in my opinion all right can't really have a gym bag without a water bottle or vessel to drink your fluids so i pretty much just have a blender bottle um water bottle um this is 20 ounces so pre-workout uh any intro workout drinks you might drink liquid iv um electrolytes gatorade um and then also you know post-workout um, protein shakes. So that's what I use this for. Um, you can, I think these go usually for ten dollars. Um, but my recommendation is go to like your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx, whatever. They usually have them for pretty cheap, around like four ninety nine. That's my recommendation. So water bottle of choice, shaker bottle. I will leave links to everything um, in the description if you're interested. Some links might support the channel, so I know extra cost to you. So that's it. Next, we have uh, a battery pack. Uh, this is an Anchor wireless battery pack um, that I have been using for a few months now. I did get a UFO recently, which is the iPhone uh, 14 Pro um, with the Everyday Peak Design case. Um, so this is also in my bag, of course, my phone, the case, um, and then this charger, wireless charger. And it pretty much just goes like that, compatible with the case. And bam, you are charging. 
So I'm not relying on this to, you know, get me a full charge. This is mostly to lengthen the life of my phone while I'm out. And it's been doing a great job. Because of the wireless charging, it does tend to heat up, but I think that's pretty normal. It's a really small form factor. You could still use your phone while you are charging without the annoying cord. So this is my go-to battery pack of choice. Again, I have, uh, this is also in my bag, my phone. And I do shoot a lot of video on here as well. Um, and along with that, this is my tripod setup. The bottom, I have a Manfrotto mini tripod that I've had for maybe over five years now. And it's a really handy tool to have articulating. Um, and then on top of that, I have a small rig um, adapter plate, which is useful for the Peak Design system. So I can quickly take this off um, to mount my phone and this slides in and out. I pretty much have this plate on all my tripods, so it's interchangeable. And then on top of that, this part right here, this is the Peak Design Mobile Creator Kit so that if I wanted to film any clips, I can take my Peak Design everyday case, bam, and now I am filming. So this is a really easy way to quick release, vertical and horizontal, very secure. Um, yeah, this part is a little loose, but there is a way to disengage that and I can film, set this up. What up? Or I can go horizontal, so like that. And here we go, now I'm filming horizontal. Super quick, very secure. Um, that's my like mini setup that I use to film a lot of my gym clips. Um, so yeah, very compact, kind of heavier than most mini setups, but I trust this a lot and it works for me. All right, next on the list, very simple, doesn't take up a lot of space or is heavy. It is a light resistance band. So I think this one is 10 pounds uh, and I use this to warm up uh, or do mobility work. So a lot of banded pull aparts or like over your head. Um, so especially before volleyball, getting my shoulders, upper body nice and warm. And it's an easy way to bring resistance with you without having to carry a lot of weight. So always a good thing to have in your bag um, for both upper body, lower body stretching, mobility work. But that's mainly what I use it for. Um, so this is kind of a newer device that I got as a gift for Christmas. This is the PowerDot Duo. And their body recently... Uh, acquired them, but essentially they are these two pods uh, as well as adhesives that you attach to your body um, for, you know, improved blood circulation. Essentially what it does is it will um, contract your muscles for you. So how I've been using it lately is warming up. So before, let's say I do a leg day, I'll put it on my quads uh, and there's a specific routine for warming up. Um, it only takes like five minutes. I've also been using it for recovery, so they have also specific routines for where in your body you want to recover or is sore for uh, blood circulation and improve recovery. And I've also been trying out some routines that they have for strength, like specifically to help with gaining strength in your muscles. And they do have some white papers of um, supplementing your strength and resistance training with the PowerDot Duo or Uno. And there have been some results that show there are greater strength gains using this in conjunction with training versus just training itself. So they recommend doing it twice a week. So I've been trying to do that mainly on my legs and lower body. So we'll see how that goes, but very compact. Battery life is awesome. These adhesives are supposed to last 20 to 25 times, but I've definitely been used it more and they're still going strong. So. Um, so far, so good, and I, I really like this, uh, and very small form factor. Another wearable, uh, tech wearable, this is by Hyperice, so I also got this uh, as a gift during the holidays, uh, during a Secret Santa, but this is their Venom Go. If you're familiar with the Venom Go line, or the Venom line, it's kind of heat plus vibration for, you know, soothing your, your muscles or warming up, um, so you have this puck, you can turn it on and it's pretty small. So you can do all the controls from the device itself, turning it on, um, selecting your heat and so selecting your vibration setting. Then you would put this on wherever you want. Let's say my forearm 
and I select my settings. Once I place them on there, it'll start. So right now it's pulsing and applying heat to this area. So if you just use the settings from the puck itself, it's going to run for about 10 minutes and then it'll stop. Or you can connect it to your phone via the app, control the settings there, and also adjust the time duration. So what I've noticed is that if you go steady vibration, full heat, it'll last around 25 minutes. Um, the adhesive here isn't as good as the Paradot Duo one. As far as like function, like this evenly distributes the heat really well and it feels really good. Like I was very impressed by this device when I first got it and I am very happy to add it to the arsenal. It sucks that there are, you know, consumables. So after X amount of uses, I'm going to have to buy more pads, but as long as I'm getting good use out of it, then yeah. So how I've been using this is mainly for pre-workout. So if I'm like gonna hit legs or if I'm gonna hit chest, then I'll, I'll do it for like five minutes on each pec uh, before working out or while I'm on my echo bike. It's a foam roller. This one is by Therabody and it is their vibrating one. So you have five different settings here. Ooh, that's loud. Um, and yeah, so mainly when I use this is usually, you know, warming up. So I usually use this on my legs, mainly my quads, calves, shins, hamstrings, glutes, hips, and also my back. Um, so that's what I use this for. And then also sometimes post-workout if I'm, um, if there are any like annoying muscles or tight muscles, mainly my hips and my calves, then I'll use this on that. And then also for similar purposes, I have the Hypervolt Plus. Um, this was also my original video, but that was the original um, percussive gun that they first came out with a few years ago. Um, and this is a later model. So I'll use this mainly on my upper body. So getting my shoulder warm, my chest warm before working out or before playing volleyball or before jumping. Um, this is a little bit more pressure because you know the head is a little bit smaller than the surface area of the foam roller. So both have similar purposes, but just for different needs. So that's why I was saying earlier, my bag is definitely heavy. So in the beginning, as you saw, the cavity of the bag is pretty much just one big cavity. So I do bring shoes um, and I bring them in this utility bag from Nike. Um, this bag itself, what does it say? There. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so this has a zipper in the front if you wanted to store anything in here. Currently, I don't really use it that much, but maybe you could put like a clean pair of socks in here. That would definitely fit. Um, and then inside, of course, are my shoes. So this is mainly so that the inside of my bag doesn't get dirty with the bottom of my shoes. And in this bag is the shoe that I've actually really enjoyed I've enjoyed the LeBron 20, but I always come back to the Air Jordan 36. If you want a performance review, I'll leave a link somewhere here, but these are the shoes that are in my bag and that I'm still going back to. Hopefully there is a better shoe this year that will top the Air Jordan 36, but that pretty much does it for what's in my bag. Um, a lot of things, but like I said, I don't mind having a heavy bag because I'm not bringing it around the gym all that much. It just kind of sits in the bleachers or in one place and I just go to it when I need to get different items. Hopefully that was useful for you. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any questions about any of the items. Uh, if you like this content or shoe reviews, tech, fitness, home gym, working out, any of that stuff, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. See ya.